Nancy Grace, every night at 8 Eastern. HLN News and Views. The details this guy gives in his statement are horrendous. Well, what made him talk to police? Well, this thing is it's twisted, it's demented, it's sick. And, and Nancy, when you really look at this uh, confession, it's so self-serving, no remorse. And it was to save his own butt. That's what it's all about, Nancy. He was promised no death penalty if he would just lead authorities to the bodies of the two women and the young boy. That's what you he did. You are kidding me. They gave up the opportunity to seek the death penalty. This is a guy who surveilled the family home from across the street all night in a sleeping bag across the street, goes in. It's like a, a, a crime horror flick inside. He lets the little girl, the 13-year-old, live so he can molest her. She's found bound and gagged. Then he kills three people and the family dog. Lowers them by a harness. It's like out of a horror movie. It's like Hannibal Lecter into a, a hollow tree. He's a tree trimmer. And they're not seeking the death penalty. Did they really need his confession that much? Gene Casares, you want to tell me with a crime scene that bloody and under that scenario, they don't have enough evidence to nail him? And a triple murder. Triple murder, Nancy. You know, we're watching surveillance video from Walmart, and that's really how I think they tracked him down because once he had killed his victims, dismembered his victims, put them in plastic bags in the home. The plastic was a little flimsy, you know. To put it down the tree, it probably would get holes in it. So we went to the Walmart, and he purchased some heavy-duty plastic bags, and he also purchased some tarps. Well, he happened to leave that in the garage, in the Walmart sack, and they tracked him down from that surveillance video. Okay, let's keep that Walmart video going. I want to see, and I want to hear from you, Jenkinsaris, everything we know that he bought at Walmart. I mean, how do we know that Walmart needs a whole aisle murder supplies? This is what we know. We know he bought heavy duty, thick plastic bags. We also know he bought tarps. They were in the Walmart bag that he left in the garage. But those plastic bags were used to make sure his victims got down that hollow 60-foot tree.